GM is in a crisis, and the CEO, Mary Barra, is only adding to the problem. In their eagerness to embrace the electric future and catch up with Tesla, GM may have jeopardized their combustion cars. We are hearing hefty reports of fire hazards caused by faulty parts, low production and quality concerns, layoffs, and even complete plant shutdowns due to poor sales. Adding to their troubles, GM recently announced that they will no longer sell the EV Bolt which currently constitutes over 95% of their EV sales. This is a lot to take in. So in this video, we're breaking down GM's existing crisis and unveiling GM's new plans to rescue them from the brink of collapse. So what exactly is happening at GM? Well, the situation is heating up in General Motors, and at the start of this tumultuous journey is none other than GM CEO Mary Barra. While this forward-thinking executive has been diligently paving the way towards an electric vehicle future, it seems that GM's current fleet has been neglected and left to deteriorate. Reports indicate that GM's focus on tomorrow has overshadowed the pressing needs of today, and the consequences are hitting hard and fast. Mary Barra herself has confirmed a massive recall affecting an astonishing number of vehicles, catching everyone off guard. But before we delve into the details, let's provide some context. Just a decade ago, GM was basking in the glory of being named the top-ranked automaker by the JD Power Initial Quality Study in 2013. This study, which assesses the quality of new vehicles within the first 90 days of ownership, highlighted GM's exceptional commitment to quality assurance. GMC, Chevrolet, Cadillac, and Buick. GM's brands were all performing above the industry average. This success testified to GM's unwavering dedication to quality, ensuring their vehicles left the factories as pristine as freshly polished diamonds. Fast forward to 2020, and GM once again claimed victory in the JD Power survey, with the Chevrolet Sonic even earning the distinction of the best score among all models in the entire study. Their manufacturing facility in China even garnered the Platinum Award for plant quality. However, GM's fairy tales started to reveal cracks. In a recent and dramatic turn of events, GM announced the recall of over 40,000 Chevy Silverado trucks due to concerns of regarding brake fluid leaks that could potentially spark a fire. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration has even advised owners to park these trucks away from structures until the necessary repairs are completed. The Silverado recall merely scratches the surface of this issue. Throughout the year, GM has issued four separate recalls, impacting eight different models and over 55,000 vehicles. The problems range from the fuel pump and transmission half shaft issues to missing retaining rings that secure the drive shaft halves in place. These recalls have not only tarnished GM's once sterling reputation, but also have the potential to cost the company millions, if not billions, in repairs. Furthermore, we can't forget the recall from late last year when a staggering 825,000 trucks and SUVs in North America were recalled due to a blinding issue with daytime running lights. The risk of these lights failing to deactivate when the headlights were turned on could create a hazardous glare significantly increasing the likelihood of accidents. This series of missteps indicate a concerning trend, a sense that GM, in its eagerness to leap into the EV market, may have lost sight of its present commitments. The cost of this oversight is being paid with customer trust and substantial financial losses caused by these recall incidents. GM is losing its advantage in the EV market. We're all familiar with Mary Barra's 000 slogan, highlighting zero emissions, zero crashes, and zero congestion. The first zero, which emphasizes zero emissions, clearly suggests a push for more EVs. While this seems positive, abandoning their reliable lineup of combustion vehicles may not be the wisest move, especially considering the slow pace of electric vehicle sales. Other legacy automakers, on the other hand, have made a smarter decision by introducing EVs built on internal combustion platforms, providing the best of both worlds. However, GM views the ICEV hybrid as a significant compromise that results in higher costs. Thus, they developed their Altium platform, granting General Motors a three-year head start compared to brands that had just begun EV production. GM has also made significant strides in terms of EV assembly plants. They boast Factory Zero in Detroit, producing the Hummer EV and Silverado EV, 
with the cruise origin electric autonomous vehicles set for later this year. There's also the Orion plant in Michigan, the Lansing, Michigan plant manufacturing other electric SUVs, and the Spring Hill, Tennessee plant producing Cadillacs, which will soon include the Acura ZDX. GM's involvement in Mexico extends to helping Honda produce the Prologue SUV, showcasing their confidence in their new technology. Additionally, they operate an assembly plant in Canada, producing Bright Drop electric vans. GM has also established multiple battery plants in Ohio, Michigan, and Tennessee, which should give them a significant production advantage. However, in the fourth quarter of last year, GM only managed to sell 86 Cadillac Lyrics in a mere 72 Hummer EVs, which is a catastrophic outcome considering the 80,000 orders for these vehicles. So what went wrong for GM? Factory Zero remained closed throughout December, and GM unexpectedly canceled its battery building deal with LG. Strangely, they decided to invest $840 million into their next generation V8 engine, further adding to the confusion surrounding their EV strategy. While GM faced the setback of recalling thousands of vehicles due to battery-related issues and faulty components, other brands joined forces to push them out of the competition. LG, for instance, is now collaborating with Stellantis, Honda, and the Hyundai Group, further intensifying the narrative. Adding spice to the story is Elon Musk, who predicted GM's downfall last year due to equipment failures and accidents. GM also had to bear the brunt of billions in legal settlements and fines. It's worth noting that this isn't the first time GM has faced such a predicament. In 2008, they suffered a staggering loss of $31 billion, equivalent to $85 million a day. Coincidentally, during that time, rivals Ford and Tesla joined forces against GM. Tesla has now agreed to let Ford access its supercharging network, granting their customers access to superior charging infrastructure without the need for adapters. So why did GM decide to discontinue the Chevy Bolt, America's most affordable EV? This decision, announced by GM CEO Mary Barra, has caused a stir in the auto industry. Despite recent sales growth and record-breaking production targets, GM's strategic considerations and profit margins led to the termination of Bolt production by the end of this year. Industry observers were taken aback by this move. The answer lies in the pursuit of profitability and strategic EV production. Barra stated during an earnings call that GM has progressed to a point where it's time to plan the end of Chevy Volt EV and EUV production. Although price cuts contributed to a surge in sales, unfortunately, these adjustments meant that GM was losing more money on the car than ever before. Sam Abuelsamid, a principal analyst at Guidehouse Insights, remarked, They don't want to keep it going longer. They're losing money on it. GM aims to achieve single-digit profit margins from its EV portfolio by 2025, producing 1 million electric vehicles in North America. To reach these ambitious targets, GM is banking on next-generation EVs built on its new Altium architecture, which are expected to be profitable, a milestone the Bolt models failed to achieve. The company is focusing on cost-effective in-house battery production to maximize margin improvements that the Bolt couldn't achieve in the long term. Adding to Bolt's challenges, its brand reputation suffered due to recalls related to fire concerns stemming from defects in supplier-manufactured batteries. Despite setbacks, the Bolt successfully attracted new customers, with 75% of Bolt owners switching from non-GM vehicles. However, GM sees greater potential in new models like the upcoming Equinox EV to fill the void. While it's commendable that GM is exploring new frontiers in the EV landscape, one can't help but wonder if this pursuit comes at the expense of their existing customers. If this trend continues, it could result not only in financial repercussions, but also in a dent in customer loyalty. Mary Barra faces the daunting task of balancing the demands of an EV future with the legacy of their current fleet. The road ahead undoubtedly appears challenging as she strives to steer GM back onto smooth roads. The question is, will she be successful or will the infamous GM be coming to a close end? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. And thanks for watching.